After a wonderful stay at Kamalanui Anchorage, I hauled up and headed for Manalei Bay, where I had a very unpleasant experience with the harbor master the moment I stepped on shore. This experience is not uncommon in the Hawaiian Islands, unfortunately. So the next morning, I hauled up again and moved on with an easy motor cell to Maui. I'm approaching Mala Anchorage on Maui. And um, guidebook says to anchor the north end out like on the seaside of the moored boats. There's a lot of moorings, private moorings. So we're just creeping in, trying to see the best spot. I guess we're gonna anchor in like 40 to 50 feet of water. Doesn't, I don't know what the viz is, but I won't be able to probably see the anchor. So I'm just gonna have to like watch how it sets make sure that it stops the boat when I'm going in reverse to make sure that it's set because it's notoriously bad holding around here. So yeah, arriving to Maui, very excited. Took a lot of rain on the West Maui Mountains. And um, yeah, get the hook set. Anchored in 40, like 45 feet of water. I have four scope out, all chain. I found really good holding. Like I had the motor full throttle in reverse and it just sat still, would not budge. So that's good. And I have, I have plenty of room to pay out more scope if need be, but this spot's supposed to be really protected and out of the current. I guess there's a current wind situation with, uh, Lahaina proper like right by town So and really poor holding so I guess the current always keeps you beam on to the seas and the wind So it makes for a really miserable anchorage. This is like in a little nook and um, Outside of the current I can see a big reef where people are surfing and we're behind that. So that's awesome So we'll see pretty stoked. I'm gonna be in Lahaina probably maybe five days or something just chilling and um, exploring the town. I'll show you guys around and um, getting some work done. So excited to see what Mala Anchorage has in store and um, getting around and visiting Lahaina. Getting ready to head ashore to pick up my adventure buddy extraordinaire, Kimberly Wood. She is uh, flying in to Maui. Um, she was kind enough to bring me a, like some packages that arrived after I'd left. And I'm stoked that she's going to be here to go exploring with me. We're going to hit a number of anchorages here on Maui. And then I'm going to give her a ride to the Big Island. She has She's starting another research project with Cascadia on June 10th. Um, today's June 1st. So we're gonna pop down the coast, hit Molokini, hit some other anchorages here on Maui, and then do the Ali Nui Haha, and um, make our way to Kona so that she can get to work on another research project. Um, I tried, I've been stuck on the boat for two days because there's this insane south swell, like the high surf warning today was that there were 12 to 16 foot waves on the south facing shores of the Hawaiian Islands. So I tried to go ashore yesterday. This, the dinghy dock, it's very well made, but it's a rigid like dock. And there's a lot of surge in that little, it's like next to a boat ramp. And it is a uh, huge learning experience. Um, very sketchy with the surge charging in and getting tied up, especially solo. There's a big south swell happening, so it might be an adventure getting the boat tied up right now. And it was totally impossible. There was a massive waves breaking over the breakwater and it was very sketchy. So I sat and watched it for a while out in the channel, uh, the little boat channel leading up to the boat ramp. And I was like, absolutely not. <laughs> so 
yeah, I've just been on the boat working for the last two days and um, now I'm gonna make my way in, brave the dinghy dock, see how bad the surge is right now and um, pick up Kimberly. Oh, I made it in safe. It's not as bad because it's high tide. So there's more space between us and the rocks. When I did this at low tide the other day, it was so sketchy. Like it almost slammed me into the, the rocks. But the, the waves are still surging in, but we're past the worst of this south swell business. But yeah, this is like, this dinghy dock is not for the faint of heart, that's for sure. Who's on board? Good day. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna brave the surge and try to get all the gear back to the boat. <laughs> Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> We're uh, in Lahaina. We're going to go check out the famous tree and um, enjoy the sunset. Let's go have a look around. Lahaina's famous banyan tree in this town center is the largest in the United States and was planted in 1873. Starting out only 8 feet tall, it is now over 60 feet tall and has 16 additional trunks and a canopy spread of more than half an acre. I couldn't find any signs or plaques telling the number of drunken sailors who have slept under this tree over the years, but my guess is it's shaded a few. Dude, that's the channel to enter. <laughs> oh, that boat's coming in. Oh man, that would be so so sketchy. Whoa, they're surfing in the channel. Look at it, it's totally. And this isn't even the worst. Like, it was like the South Swell is done. This thing just must get shut out. Dude, yeah, there's four boats waiting to come in. That is bananas. We got some provisions set up for the next little push. Gonna hit uh, Coral Gardens tomorrow and um, McGregor Landing, I think, Molokini, and then La Perouse Bay. So we got a busy schedule of new anchorages to hit, and uh, we're all stuck up on Vittles. It's time to 
sneak back out to the boat in the dark. Luckily, there's not a lot of traffic down here. I forgot the light, so we're gonna be doing it ninja style. Um, so we're about to get in the water. We're gonna go check out Mala Wharf. There's like a massive portion of the wharf that is underwater as it's crumbled and fallen apart. This wharf was kind of doomed from its beginning. It was built in 1929 by the Army Corps of Engineers. And uh, the local Hawaiian people were like, you shouldn't build that there. And uh, they didn't listen. <laughs> they built it and Weird. The first boat to ever land there sl crashed into it and caused a bunch of damage. And I think they said there was only like two boats that ever successfully used the wharf because the surge is just rips, rips Holy. right there. So, and they condemned it in 1950s at some point. So now it is an epic snorkel and dive site. And um, we're gonna go see what critters are there. So let's do it. Adventure. Awesome, awesome, awesome snorkel. Awesome. Mala Wharf, outstanding spot. You come to Maui, especially if you have the option to dive. We didn't get to dive it, but man, that would be the spot to yeah, dive. Dude. And we counted 15 turtles today. Yeah. yeah. There's a whole new cleaning station there at the end, right at the end where the wharf, like the end of the ruins are. And um, fantastic. So now it's time to get the boat in order, haul up and sail on for a new anchorage. Do, 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 do. <laughs> if you enjoy the content on this channel and would like to contribute, you can consider joining the Patreon crew. Thanks for watching. Fair winds until next time.